just now seen the how the uh, separation of blood components takes place inside the blood bank so uh, just let me uh, tell you just very one important line uh, in the blood donation we say that from one unit of blood you can actually save the life of four patients and we will see how just these things happen how the one unit of blood can save the life of four patients so so for uh, to learn this uh, to understand this concept we have to learn how the blood components are separated inside the blood bank this is a very important thing um, most of you might be not, may, might not be knowing this so we will learn this how this happens and how from the one unit of blood we can save the life of four patients so let's learn it in the in the inside the blood bank once the once uh, after the blood donation once uh, the blood uh, inside the blood has been carried to the uh, in the blood bank so the lab technician what does is what he does is he put a hole of the bag and it, uh, inside the centrifugation machine you can see right here this is a centrifugation machine so the centrifugation machine here uh, look inside this what inside it looks like is there are some components in some chambers from which uh, in which the blood bags are put it and now from uh, uh, once the lid is closed so it is centrifuged so what you can see now is how the whole blood looks like after the centrifugation so this is the thing you can see how the the blood looks like blood bag looks like after it is centrifuged so the plasma component has been separated from the rbc component so this is known as packed rbcs and this is known as the plasma so after once it is separated this is also known as ffp the fresh frozen plasma after we express out from the machine that is known as a expressor machine so the next thing we are going to do is once we have separated the uh, component of the in, from the blood bag so we are going to put it inside the expressor machine you can see here this is the expressor machine so this is the expressor machine so what the expressor machine does is we uh, place the blood bag here right here and from the blood bag we manually compress this so 
it separates out this uh, component that is known as the plasma component into another bag which is already connected to the the uh, another blood bag so it separates out this component inside the new bag so the plasma component separates here and the rbc components remains here only so this is the rbc component it remains here only and the whole of the plasma component now shifted towards this bag so what we do is finally we have separated the two components which is the whole blood, uh, whole pack rbc and the plasma component which is known as now ffp this is the fresh frozen plasma and this is the pack rbcs so now what uh, we are going to do is the plasma also contains some kind of plate uh, cells like platelets and some proteins also so now what we are going to do is we again centrifuge it and again we are going to separate it into two different parts so it will separate out the platelets now this time it will in this it will separate out the platelets so let's see it so once we again centrifuge it after again centrifugation the platelet components also get separated out so here you can see there is a platelet component so again we put it into a expressor machine the expression machine uh, separate out the the upper part which is the thoda uh, the little bit light part that is the uh, cryopresorbate and the cryo uh, which is also known as the cryopresorbate so the cryopresorbate will remain here and the platelet component will remain here so now finally what we see is we have the platelet we have the packed rbcs and we have the protein that is the cryopresorbate part this is very important so this cryopresorbate part which is uh, also known as uh, also given in the patients of the coagulative disorders so what uh, what this component finally left with we are is the cryopresorbate this is known as a cryopresorbate so finally what we got is let's see what finally we have done is finally we have done is let's see here the whole blood was there you have separated out by the centrifugation method packed rbcs fresh frozen plasma platelet component and uh, the part has also not been shown the cryopresorbate also this whole blood what we have got is four things this is the packed rbcs then we have ffp then we have plc this is known as plate plate and we have the cryo precipitate so you can see now friends this component which is packed rbc it is mostly given to anemic patients because only anemic uh, the yeah, we have need anemic patient needs the only the hemoglobin part which is very much less inside the anemic patient the rbc part so we will give this in the anemia anemic patients so we can save the life of this anemic patient we have saved the life of one patient now the ffp component mostly required in the patient of shock which are which is usually require the plasma component so it is given in the patient of shock so we another we save the life of another patient this is a patient number 2 the platelet component as you know uh, the platelet component uh, is mostly required in the case of thrombocytopenia the patient which have the deficiency of platelets like dengue patients or another patients which uh, like uh, the patient on the chemotherapy uh, there is a uh, deficiency of um, platelets so we will give in the patients of the uh, patients on uh, platelet given the patients like dengue or chemotherapy patients so we have now see the life of a third patient and the last one is a cryopresorbate which is given in the case of coagulative disorders like hemophilia or other things so finally we see the life of a fourth patient also so now so you understand now friends the single unit of blood one unit of whole blood now we can see the life of four patients anemic shock patients dengue or chemotherapy patient and the coagulative disorder patients so this is the final thing what we have got from these things are these four things and so this is a final this is a very good uh, topic mostly of uh, mostly for the undergraduates and some layman persons also if he wants to know what actually is happening to the blood part 
सो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू वेरी मच